Mini has really hit their stride with their next generation of cars, fully integrated with BMW goodness and altogether more satisfying. And now they're expanding the appeal of their lineup by going bigger and even more bespoke. This is the all new Clubman. Longer and wider than any other Mini, growing over 12 inches in length and nearly five inches in width, and now distinguished as a separate model from the Cooper hardtop, the 2016 Clubman has been crafted in the tradition of British estate cars. Its newfound largesse catapults the Clubman from subcompact to mid-sized proportions. And with the choice of two turbocharged engines, manual and automatic transmissions, and front or all-wheel drive, the new Clubman becomes the Mini with the mostest. Pricing starts at about $25,000 for the 134-horsepower three-cylinder model, while this higher-performing Cooper S Clubman with the 2.0-liter Turbo 4 begins at $28,500. Building your car is one of the coolest aspects of buying a Mini with literally over 10 million possible configurations, appealing to those who see their cars as an extension of their personality. As such, my tester is highly optioned with items such as this beautiful pure burgundy paint, the 8-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters, a mini first, and a host of loaded packages and standalone options, adding over $11,000 of personalized equipment. When you hear 39500 you initially cringe. I get it. But the level of customization in here is off the charts with items like this gorgeous Chesterfield leather interior as just one example. It exudes a high quality feel, and it's as if you're sitting in a car that you yourself created. There's really nothing on the market quite like it. Passenger volume is up by 12 cubic feet, so go ahead and invite your friends to ride in the back. Not a problem. And cargo room has doubled. So with the seats folded flat, you now get 48 cubic feet of volume. For some perspective, that's greater than that of a Mazda 3 five-door. The double-door design looks cool, but it certainly isn't the most practical. Plus, they're a little hard to shut. There is an optional foot-activated sensor to open the doors when your hands are full, but you have to budget for a little extra space when you're loading stuff. My love of the new Cooper S has already been documented, but here in the Clubman, things feel a bit different. Glance over your shoulder, and it's as if you're driving a real-sized car. Now, the powertrain remains as racy as ever, giving you that authentic mini driving experience where things happen fast. Now, that being said, I'm not sure it matches this car's personality. The Clubman feels more mature, if you will. So perhaps toning down the torque steer, the go-kart-like steering, and the rambunctious suspension wouldn't be a bad thing. I like the Clubman, but giving it a low dose sedative might make me like it even more. The use of BMW engine technology and architecture is reinventing Mini into a much more polished machine. This S-level power plant generates 189 horsepower and 207 pound-feet of early hitting torque to produce a punchy 0 to 60 time of 6.9 seconds. But it's the mid-range responsiveness which is most impressive. Eight speed is performance programmed and comes with green, mid, and sport driving modes to match your mood. Even carrying 3,300 pounds, the Clubman likes to get after it, with its high performance summer use run flat Pirellis nicely fighting the propensity to plow through turns. The car's added size, however, is palpable, and so the Clubman trades in some of its mini car fun for real life duties. With these shoes, it's lousy in the snow and louder than it needs to be in the cabin. Mini worked hard to keep the car's lovable drivability alive, but again, I'd prefer a slightly less juvenile drive in the more premium Clubman. With a start-stop system, 91 octane will net you 27 mpg combined, down from 30 mpg in the previous model. Mini's recent speedometer migration from the center dial to in front of the driver is welcome, and this new infotainment system is an enjoyable mashup of BMW seriousness and Mini whimsy. It's neither the easiest nor the most modern, but it works fairly well and looks really neat with impressive lighting features. The sport front seats are manually operated, though fittingly snug and comfortable. The indigo blue interior looks amazing. 
The toggle switch gear exudes cool. The panoramic sunroof is loud when open, but adds airiness. And there are high-end features and attention to detail baked throughout that build the foundation for a premium car. Blending fun and sophistication, do not mistake the Clubman for a mainstream wagon. It does things in its own unique way, grown up, but retaining its spunky soul. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.